Ah, mate, I thought we were the, the better team throughout today. It took quite a while to get the job sorted. What, what was your thoughts? Oh, yeah. It was, first half was... Um, I don't genuinely enjoy the matches um, just because there's like so much going on in the game and I really obviously want us to win so I don't enjoy games but I definitely didn't enjoy the first half it was um, scruffy windy freezing cold pitch was bobbly um, and listen we had a, two or three like real clear cut chances first half which should have been game over um, but then again they had a decent chance when it was nil-nil um, and I think the red card kind of just helped us just get going again but then again went 1-0 behind when, we, when they had 10 men so Few lessons today. They keep us on our toes. We we missed an awful lot of chances, especially second half. But it wasn't really anyone's fault, was it? Their goal. He had the storm, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was saying to Craig, it must have been probably four like just open goal chances, and he's just spread himself. Um, it's just hit him, um, which I suppose is good goalkeeping, is it not? And um, yeah, fair play to him. He had, he had a really good game today. What would you be with a red card, Chris? I'm, I'm going to play the Arsene Wenger card and say I never saw it. Well, it was the other side of the pitch to where we were. And I think they both slid, slid for the ball and I think Davies got there first and I think the ref was saying that their lad was kind of off the ground, so that's why he's give it. I mean, their lad's limping after the game here now and Davies got a good big cut on halfway up his calf. So I think it was, it was just a tackle. He was a little bit late. I mean, if it was the other way around, I think they'd have been shouting for a red card. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. Well, David got the Man of the Match award, so I'll, I'll ask him the question and see what he thinks of it. Yes. But we had, we had a new lad made an appearance later on today, Chris. Can you can you tell us something about him? Yeah, right, AJ. Yeah, so I, I know he's um I know, I know his family and um they were in touch and said they were moving to the area and um he'd been playing up at uh, Chester Street United as part of the Parkview uh, program up there. Um and he'd been training with us and we, we signed him on and um I think it's just important that we've got plenty of bodies around because we do have lads who work shifts injuries can happen suspensions can happen um, and I just wanted to make sure we were covered and um, yeah he deserved his chance he's trained really well the last three four weeks I know you don't mate but can I criticise the referee today because I thought he had, he had a stinker today and he was pulled for both sides oh, did he? oh no I thought he was alright I mean the red card he could have gone either way um, no yeah, I thought he was ok no problem with the ref today <laughs> you're only allowed to criticise referees when you lose, aren't you? All right, okay, yes, right, right. Okay. We've got a midweek trip to North Allerton. What's, what's your thoughts on that one, then? Yeah, well, I mean, North Allerton, I mean, you look at them and the, the players that they've brought in, and you're kind of waiting for them to kind of get going. Um, and I know they've had a t- tough run uh, form wise. Um, but we'll need to go. I mean, today has just been a prime example of how easily um, things can go wrong if you if you're not quite on it, or you make a bad choice and you get a red card, or you like just switch off a little bit. So we'll need to be ready for Wednesday night. Uh, we will definitely not be going there taking anything for granted. We'll be going there ready to treat that game with the, the respect it needs. We've announced this week a number of players signed a new contract. It's quite good to get this out of the way at this time of the season, isn't it? It is. It is, I because it's it is like the least favourite part of the job for me is um, in the summer um, where you're having to negotiate, talk to lads, coming in, coming out. Um, we've got a dead good group there, and I just think if we can we can keep them together, um, we'll do fine. And listen, of course you're going to. Had a couple of players here and there, one or two might leave. That's just the nature of, of football. But we've got a good group, and they were really keen to sign, which was which was the, the, the key uh, thing that's kind of made things happen that a little bit quicker. And no matter what league we're in, those lads will be important uh, players for us next year. And Craig told us in his last interview that the squad were going to be coaching the academy kids in training. How, how did that go, Chris? It went, went all right. I, there was there was a few more of the uh, younger players than we thought. Um, I think we'll do it again maybe towards the summer when the weather's a bit nicer. We've got a little bit more space. Um, but no. I think it's just important to do that kind of stuff and we, we said we would at the start of the year um, and we did it and uh, I think they, they all enjoyed the night and um, I think it's good for the lads to give a little, a little bit back and obviously put some of them out of their comfort zone a little bit as well which was nice to see. And Craig and Puff came out of retirement for a charity match last week. Were you, were you there to witness it? Chris? I was not. No, no. Um, I, mean, they got, I mean, they got asked, you know, to play. They were probably better players than me, so they probably fitted into the team a little bit better. I'm not having uh, that. Yes. No, but uh, no, I wasn't. I, I knew they were playing, but um, but I wasn't there. Prof would have been the best player, won't he? They will have been. Still getting yeah. in for us, Prof. So, so are they ready to get the boats back out if you have a shot? Prof will, Craig, no. <laughs> Prof is neither there, mate, was he? No, he's down at uh, Twickenham uh, with, with the rugby. He's got it down there with the family. Um, we knew it was coming up. and um, It was, we'll it was a question again. I knew the answers to, mate. He needs to give, you, to give his priorities right, doesn't he? Yes, no, you can, you can tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him one. Well done, Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye.